Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. Um, hopefully you had time to do quiz 7.5. If not, then you get to do it on your own time. I did not print this out, um, but it is on the computer and you can look at it. But basically we're going to do a setup sort of like this. Um, we're going to hang a pop can instead of using a can here. Um, and I'll show you how to do that back in the back and we'll just put the, the probe on the top. And then instead of just using one little plate here, we're going to use a tuna can because that will help reflect the heat up to the pop can. Okay. In the pop can, you're going to put 100 milliliters of water. You'll take the initial temperature, then you'll light the chip or whatever after you weigh it on fire, and then you'll weigh it after, see how much was used. Um, you'll want to use the grams that were burned um, to find out how much heat um, was up there so you can do the calories. This basically just goes through and says the mass that it just basically tells you what you need to write down. This just needs to be on a piece of paper. So what food you're going to be used, how many brought a nut or a chip, remembered over the weekend. I thought that would happen. Anyway, yay! Okay, I brought three different ones, and they have the calories in there, but you've got to look at the serving size. So this whole thing is supposed to be one serving. So we're not going to burn the whole thing, so we're going to weigh it, find out how much it's going to weigh. We're going to be a little off because of the, of the container, but... I'm sure that you can um, decide in here, or bring the scale in here, weigh it, then pull out one, then you can eat it, and then weigh the empty container and see how much is left, okay? So we might have a couple of you using the same kind of chip, but that's okay. Um, but we're just going to say food used, what does it say its calories is, how much is that in the grams, how many grams per that calorie, and then we're going to go back and see if we can model that in lab. So we're going to burn, we're going to weigh a chip, we're going to burn it, see how much energy we get off of it. And see if our rudimentary or really uh, primitive calorimeter will tell us that. Okay, so basically we're going to use um, beginning temperature, end temperature, mass of water in the can. A um, nice thing about water is for every one gram, it's usually, or one milliliter is one gram. But you can weigh the pop can before, pour about 100 milliliters in, weigh it after and you've got the weight. Okay, uh, mass of food before, mass of food final, so basic stuff that we're going to get from lab. Okay, just write it down on a piece of paper, make yourself a data cha chart, okay? And then we're going to use this equation right here. Um, let me go ahead and blow this up. Which is the same equation that we, were, we learned last time, the Q equals MC delta T. Okay, so we're going to use the energy gained by the water. We're going to figure that out. That's going to be in calories. Now here it has joules. So we're going to actually change this right here and change it from the 4.184. We're going to use the one calorie per gram degree Celsius because what it says on these papers are on these foods are calories. Now these calories are kilocalories. So when we get our calculation done, we're going to have to divide it by a thousand to get it into kilocalories to compare it. Okay. And I'll walk you through it back on the back. I know I'm saying things really fast, but you can also grab um, a computer, take it back with you, and bring it up. Just download it to the desktop and bring it up, and you can follow through if you want to. I just We're not going to do more than one sample, so having all this paper, yeah, you know. Um, we're going to just compare between all of us because we're all going to do a different chip. Um, what one was the best calorie or energy source? Um, and um, just answer a few of these questions, and we'll talk about those later. Um, different food types, we're not going to do that. So again, that's what, one of the reasons I didn't want to print this out, but I'll give you a basic idea of wh what to figure out for your thing, but the main setup right here. Questions? So it's sort of a play in lab, find out about specific heat, how it really relates to your life in food. Okay? All right, so the big thing that you want to do first is we'll go back and grab a scale. And I've got three different kinds of chips, and there's four of you. So one of you, you bought something, yay, and did you bring your whole thing like this? Uh, so we'll have to look at online what, how, many, how many calories and almonds. That's okay. Uh, okay, so we've got two of you, so three kinds of chips. So pick a chip. 
Um, we're going to go back in the back, get a scale, bring it in here, weigh it, and then I want to take a part of whatever you're going to burn back there um, so that you can eat the rest of it. The almond, if you only have one almond, just take the almond. <laughs> okay, questions? And also to walk you through as we get there. Need goggles on, aprons your choice. Any other questions? Let's roll. And I just... We recorded this for those that weren't making it today. <laughs>